just want to live. God protect me. Kedron, Janetta, it is so good to see your faces. Thank you so much for taking some time to spend with us. Kedron, I have to tell you first, the song that you posted it touched me in a way I wasn't prepared for. It was like you put into words the thing that I think so many people across this country are feeling right now. And you did it in such a way that cut through Thank you. all of the other noise. It was an incredible thing to see. Thank you so much. Let's first start from the beginning. Where did the song, I mean, how did, how did this happen? Well, um, on Monday, my mom, she gave me the lyrics to the song and she gave me the tone and she taught me it. And I went upstairs, she told me to go upstairs and do devotion and pray over it. And so I went upstairs and I prayed and I prayed and I came down back and I was like, I'm ready. And she recorded it um, and it just went like viral, like everywhere. Everywhere, I mean, every, there, there are, so, if you look through the comments on the post, and look at the reshares. I mean, it's yeah. all over the place. People have, it is a message that is resonating with so many, um, not just, or not only uh, black people, not only black men, but there are, so, I saw so many mothers who were commenting yeah. on, this, on the song. Um, Janetta, tell me, you said, he said you gave him the, the song. Where did you get it? Yeah. God gave me those lyrics. Um, you wrote it? Yeah, I wrote that. Wow. Yeah. And so what, where, what were you going through? What was happening that that was something that you were writing? Um, just in this season that we're in, you know, in, in this, what we're facing today, um, I always pray for Kedron. I, I have a black husband. I have black brothers. And, you know, my husband calls me a prayer warrior. I'm always in my prayer closet. Yeah. And asking God, like, God, give me something, you know, so I can cover cover my, my 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 family in prayer and i'm i'm just was meditating on monday and the holy spirit gave me those words and i knew that it would be beneficial for key like you need to hear this i need you to get this in your spirit mm -hmm. so that you can understand the world that you are in a little bit better and the part about him doing the devotion go and now allow the holy spirit to help you to receive it because just knowing that and then also just like how do i respond I, he needed the help of god to mm -hmm. help him in his heart you know so that he don't act out in anger you know mm -hmm. that he can do it in love just i, I just want to get my message out in love i don't want to to you know to to do it violently if only i can say something and kijan has a gift of singing um, the anointing is all over him. him. Uh, all uh, over him. It is, yeah, brother, yeah. It, is, it, is, uh, it is dripping off of your skin. It's a glow oh, on you right now. There's a, you so cut, much. Your voice cuts through. It's like, uh, the, the way I described it before, I was talking to my mom about this, and it was like, I thought that it was a song that we had all heard before. You know, mm -hmm. I thought that the way that you, the way that you were able to sing it, the words that you wrote for him, it was like we'd all heard this song before because it was our own plea, mm -hmm. right? Um, and so what for you has been, how, how are you taking the response? So many people have responded. So many people have shared it. A lot of celebrities. Yes. 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 Oh, yes. Who are you oh, most surprised by? Um, when we saw Miss Tina, Miss Tina Lawson, when we saw her post, it was like, whoa. And you know, like, that who don't know. But you know, I, I don't, it, it, it was really surprising um, for her, but I, I really wouldn't want to just single any person because everybody that um, it reached and they received the message, everybody whether you're a celebrity or not um i'm just happy that it was received in such a manner 
you know, and that's where that's 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 what we want to do. We just want to we're, we're God's messengers, and we pray that the Holy Spirit will, will lead and it will work through us, and whatever is released, you know, that, that it will be received for the people to take it and, and be blessed by it. I, I totally understand, but I'm gonna also tell you something. When Miss Tina know, I'm when Beyonce's mama, yes, yes, tips her hat. <laughs> you know you under something. You know what I mean? Yes. Yeah. I was like, okay. Ooh. Wow. Incredible yes. thing. Okay, so wait. So this is it's interesting because I also found out that that you this is not your first um uh uh um this is not your first time in the in the spotlight, Kedron. You are also on Little Big Shots singing. Yes, sir. Back, I went to record it in Los Angeles in January, uh -huh. and it aired um, last Sunday um, on NBC, and it was an amazing experience. What was that like for you? I mean, to be standing on that stage with an audience singing, you know what I mean? What did that feel like for you? Um, I've always wanted to go on Little Big Shots. Um, I, it was, people always ask me, was I nervous? Um, I wasn't nervous. It was, it was very exciting because that was my dream. Like, I wanted to showcase my talent to the whole world and impact people's lives with it and touch people so that I can have something to leave on this world when I go home. So I had an amazing experience. Brother, you did that. You did <laughs> Now tell me, is, is, is gospel music, is singing gospel music something that you love, something that you want to pursue ultimately as a career? Mama's like, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, um, I want to be a professional gospel singer and I want to minister through music and touch people's lives um, with the anointing that God gave me and the gift that he gave me, and I want to um, use it for his glory and his kingdom, and I just really want to just impact the world, especially um, the young generation. Yeah, tell me, I mean, I, I, it was very clear that that was your intention with this song that has blown up all over social media, but what was it like for you to sing it? What was it like for you to, to really hear and know and understand those words as a young black man you know what I mean? A, a dare I say black boy. I mean, you, you, you young black man. <laughs> you know, but what was it like for you to experience singing that song, knowing that you were going to put it out there with all that's happening? Um, well, first I thank my mom and I thank God for doing that. Um, I think, well, what I think is that it, in this particular time, it was the right time to post it and share it to the world because um, all this, um, the racial profiling that's going on and um, being black in America, I think that it was the right time to post it. And I really needed to get that message out to everybody, especially um, my kind and the black men, black boys. Um, well, not just black men but all black people mm -hmm. um really need to hear that because i think that they're going through the same thing um that i'm feeling so yeah i mean it, we're, it's like a collective mourning is what is, is kind of what it feels like um as a mom of a young black man now why would you have to ask this type of emotional question because oh my I'm, god you know, I mean, you 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 were able yeah. to capture you were able to capture exactly what we we're all thinking. But as as you listen to him singing this song, you can't yeah. imagine that wasn't an emotional experience for you. Yeah. Uh, again, I like, as those words came to me, I always have Kedron in mind. You know, this is this is this is my son. You mm -hmm. know, uh, I I carry this fella, and I I can't imagine as a mom having to bury my son. You know, um, and I always, I'm, I'm always thinking about him, praying for him. God help him to understand uh, what's going on and, and give him wisdom. So as I'm hearing Kedron sing these lyrics, um, and even, you know, not, not to go off, but just before we got on the call, I got the anointing oil and I prayed for Kedron. And I began to, I began to, to, to pray for him because the feeling that I get is, son, 
I need you to know what's going on. I don't want you to walk around in this world thinking that racism doesn't exist, you know, and I don't want, I talk about it. I mean, I talk about it straight up. I don't sugarcoat it. It's real because it is real. Um, and I want him awareness. Even the Bible says, you know, that the people perish because of lack of knowledge. I want Kedron to know what he is up against. There is, there is an enemy up against him. Son, when you go out this door, I need you to be aware, sober and alert because the enemy is out as the song says, mm -hmm. as haunting you as prey, mm -hmm. seeking. And so I want Kedron to be aware of his surroundings um, and uh, allowing him to understand the power of prayer. You know, when you go in prayer, God will cover you. God will keep you, son, wherever you go. Um, but you gotta know how to pray. I want him to know how to pray and what to be praying for. Yeah. One of the things you told me, one of the things you told me was that when Ahmad Arbery, would, when the video surfaced of his killing, um, you told me that you adjusted, you had Kedron adjust his life in, in ways. Can you talk a little bit about that? Um, yes, so uh, Kedron runs track for his school. And you know, when all this happened, it was like, oh. And we normally would send him out it, it freely. You know, he would run miles. Um, yeah. But now, after that, we had to say, oh, well, Keija, only run on the street. You know, go in the cul-de-sac, make your loop. Don't go off this street. And I thought, how unfair that we have to alter, adjust our lifestyles because we fear to go around the corner. I mean, like, why? I, I don't think that we should have to do that. I think that that's totally unfair that we have to. Uh, navigate just in such a, a, a maneuver life, mm -hmm. such caution. I mean, always looking over your back and, and, and when you leave, you don't feel free. I, how do I not feel free in America, the land of the free? You know, it, it, it's, it, it just doesn't make sense. You know, I, what, do you, what do you hope, what do you hope, and I, I want this answer from the both of you, but what would you hope that people take away, people who maybe aren't as familiar with this experience of being black in America, what would you hope they take if they happen upon your video? Uh, would be the uh, yeah. thing? Our overall take is so that people will understand that black people, we belong here too. Mm -hmm. This whole going back to Africa stuff, that's played out. We belong here and we deserve the right like anybody else. Fairness, e e equality. There's no race superior to another. That's that's that, that's the gist of it. E yeah. Equality, make it fair. Yeah, yeah. You John, what about you? What would you hope? Maybe other young people. You know, the the one of the the things I have read time and time again is that the key to this now lies in the gener your generation and the generation after you. What would you say? To, to other young people out there? Um, that they need to understand that um, us as black people, we can live too and we can enjoy our life. Um, just like the song said, just let me live. Um, I wanna live and I, do we need to live just like the other people can live too and enjoy being in life because we don't have long and we need to make memories and, and other things and we can't live if we have all those uh, fears and afraid of going we can't go outside and just enjoy life because we're afraid or, or something's going to happen to us so i feel like that they need to understand that we could live too mm. Mm. so i i want to i want to get back to you being a, a a singer and you being a gospel singer why gospel music well, um, my mom and my dad, they're ministers, so I was um, grew up in the church. I was raised in the church, um, singing the choir, so it was in me. Um, I was born in it, so gospel music, it makes me feel good because I know that 
it was nobody but God because I should have been dead a long time ago, but God had kept me on this earth. Um, so gospel music is really important in my life because it was on God that brought me here. Um, so, When you say should have been gone a long time ago, what you mean? No, I'm just testifying, like, okay, um, okay, okay. Just look, listen, I'm just making sure I was, a, hold on a second now, is this something I don't know about? Yeah, because one time, um, when I was 10 or 9, about 9, yeah, about 9 years old, um, I had a baker cyst, um, on the back of my right leg, and it got so big that I had to go to the doctor, well, the hospital, and they had to, like, they, they gave us two decisions to cut my leg off or to get surgery. And I didn't know, I was, I came home and I cried because I was so afraid and I was little. And my mom, she prayed over me. Um, my mom, my, dad, my mom, my dad, a lot of times. And one morning before school, I woke up and normally I feel like a pain in my leg seemed to wake up to stretch. And right. I went to my mom and it wasn't there. And that testimony has always been, and that's why I sing, um, because I'm happy. Um, it was only God that brought me through. So, Ooh, wee. I know that's right. Well, listen, if that, if that if that's the power of the prayers in your house, yeah. I got some requests. You know, as a, as a young gospel singer, I feel like you know there are people that you may admire. There are people that you may look up to. Is that Kirk Franklin? Is that yes? Kirk? You just crashed on Zoom. <laughs> Oh my God! Do y'all know who Kirk Franklin is? <laughs> well, you can't scare us like that. <laughs> yo, yo, let me tell you something. The song, his voice, this moment, Thank this is incredible. So this is incredible. Young boy, ah, young boy, you cold. <laughs> Thank you. Young boy, you cold, you cold, you cold. Listen, I want to tell you, um, I was adopted. I didn't have a father. I was raised without a strong black presence, made a lot of mistakes. And to see the next generation like your beautiful son. What's your name, youngin? Oh, my name is Kedron Bryant. Kedron, Kedron. Yes, That's sir. That's fresh. That's fresh. <laughs> uh, to be able to see young man like Kedron just be able to stand in the midst of all this pain and tragedy and to be able to have such a a sound of hope bro we needed you we needed you we 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 you are right on time man god is using you right on time and as a matter of fact man i just want people to know as a matter of fact uh timberland and uh swiss beats hit me i'm going to do uh the versus battle this sunday with uh fred hammond and when I get on there, we're going to give you a shout out. I'm gonna let everybody know. As a matter of fact, if you if you look at the ad for the battle, we're using Thank your you. voice. We're Thank using you. your voice. And so, so man, it's like your voice is just impacted. I need for you to know, Kijun, you have the ability to make a difference. All it takes is one light, a room. It can be a huge room of darkness. One little match can change the temperature and the spirit of that room. Kedron, you are that little match, bro. And Thank so, you. Brother, Thank you, you. Have, you have given us light, and we needed that. We needed you. Mama, thank you for your pen. I'm honored to be here, and I cannot wait to hear more of your voice. I'm going to give you a shout-out Sunday. Let everybody know, man, tune into the verse battle, and uh, we're going to be celebrating black men, black love, and we're going to be giving God all the glory. Me and Fred ain't going to be battling. We're just going to be celebrating each other. So I don't want you thinking, you know what I'm saying? But it's going to be all good. Scott, put your hands down. Scott, put I'm your hands down. I'm just so excited. I'm just so excited. <laughs> Listen, y'all don't understand. <laughs> this is Kedron and his, his, this effort. You know, this, this was just something I wanted to be able to honor. And I, yeah. and I knew wow. that, Kirk, I knew that you would be the guy. I knew that you also wanted to honor it. And so to yes. be able to be the kind of connecting tissue between the two of you yeah. it has been thank such you. a pleasure. And I'm going to tell y'all, thank you for not thinking I was crazy trying to cue Kurt. <laughs> <laughs> you know I was what? like, I, I was did. Like, I was like, well, maybe. <laughs> like, they going to think I'm crazy. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you were doing? That's what yeah, you were doing? Like, 
<laughs> yes, I was like, we got Kirk on into that room now. I think we re- <laughs> <laughs> That is hilarious, bro. <laughs> That is hilarious. No, man, I am so honored. Scott, thank you for the call. And, and uh, I am so honored to be uh, able to have a chance to know you and to see you. And you let me know that there's still a future. You, you already know it. You already know We out here, baby. We are out here. That young man is still a future. He's a future. Dude. Thank you all. Salute. Thank you. Thank you, Kurt. Thank you, my brother. Thank you. Thank you. And, man, I'm just so proud of you. Thank you. I'm so Thank proud you. of you. I'm so excited for you. You know, this is this is not this is not even the beginning. This is just another step in the direction of you achieving yes. everything that you want. Stay clear. Yes. yes. Stay focused. Yes. Listen to your mama, even when you don't agree. She probably right because she's been on this earth longer than you. Are. Yes. She knows some things. Yes, she's sir. seen some things. And there is nobody on this planet that's gonna love you like she loves you. Yes, sir. That the song that you gave him was an act of love, Janetta, not just to Kedron, but it was an act of love to all of us. Oh, I cannot you. thank you enough. Uh, I cannot so happy. thank you enough. So so honored. God bless you. God bless you all. Thank you for it.